So I've been looking at Leiden for years now because I think it's a really interesting example of old urban planning principles, things like mixed use and walkability and connectivity that today's planners are, are rediscovering and, and using again in our cities. But here we have a culture that's never lost touch with how to use these spaces. So it's about the people, not just the place. And I've learned that there's a group of people here in Leiden from a whole range of disciplines, politicians, urban planners, historians, archivists, archeologists, who work together to weave past, present, and future in a way to create a thriving and, and livable city. How, does, how do people interact with the heritage of the city? Uh, heritage is very much a part of their daily life. People live in their own heritage. They experience it every day. They live in this heritage. Uh, that the, the, the houses are part of the heritage, but also when they go shopping or when they go for dinner, they use this heritage. There are all kinds of things happening in the city. Uh, people are building, people are, are rearranging the whole city all the time. Being a historical city doesn't mean that nothing happens, that everything stays the same. The city changes all the time. And my main task is that when we change this city, we still keep its history alive and that you can still recognize its history. Uh, we're making a new alley here we, and, and there was nothing here before. It was just the inside of a building block. And, uh, uh, but by using the same materials on the pavement, using old things, old structures which were there and putting something new uh, on top of that, it should make the feeling that it's, it's always, already been, always been. But when you just walk a little bit further, then you see that the tourists are still there, the people who live are still there, and then you get a sense of the, of Leiden again, if you look at this. And, and the terrace as well, it looks like it always have been, has been there, and it, it, it isn't, it's just new. It's like, I think it's two or three years old. Now it's a place to sit still and relax and enjoy. And, and, and you see the old, the new, and it, it combines together. That's the objective. You don't have the feeling that it's new and planned. Yeah. Uh, uh, so planning is about making yourself redundant. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? <laughs> it's, it's trying to make something which wasn't the, the city has been has grown of course and it is it wasn't it was it's planned in details and planned in 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 it, in, it, in the details of the architecture etc but it's not not planned like in a giant scheme of things in a in in okay in a, in a giant theory and giant philosophy it is it's it it is there because of the people it is there because it has been grown and it's there and it is accepted because of the people live there and what you want to do as a, as a planner is, is make something that people accept because they think it's all already been there, because it, they think it's theirs and it's not someone of, of someone else, someone else who said, okay, but you have to live this way. We are uh, recognizing the quality in the historic city, the walkability, the environment for cyclists. It's not an, uh, an environment for cars. And we want to expand that quality of walkability uh, to a larger area mm -hmm. around the historic city center. Mm -hmm. And that's something new. Mm -hmm. We want to demolish those buildings from the 60s and create uh, a place where you can wander around mm -hmm. with small alleyways. Mm -hmm. We are using history for inspiration. Balancing the needs of the people today and the future growth of the city against the needs of historic preservation is a tricky business. The people here seem to be dancing with the past. Like many living heritage city, this city is a dance partner with a lot of different moves from different eras. And the professionals here are trying to learn these steps to be able to move with the history, uh, to create places where past, present, and future work together harmoniously. In the very places where development and heritage often clash, the streets, the buildings, the public spaces.